we have the front camera that catches basically the front two thirds of the bus. We have the what we call a stepwell camera that catches the driver. So and at the back, very back of the bus, we have the fourth camera which catches the last four rows directly, which in a lot of cases is where if there's activity going on that shouldn't be, it tends to be at the back of the bus. It's about school safety. It's about safety on the bus. The buses are such a great tool for kids to get to school and we need them. Um, but they're not toys. It's not a playground. And um, the kids have to be safe. And if they're standing up or jumping around seats, the bus driver can't pull over every three miles to redirect the kids. And Wake County being so um, congested in traffic, that would be impossible. But there are times bus drivers have to pull over. That's definitely. And they do that. But this is all about student safety. And, um, and when there is behaviors that lead to unsafe behaviors, that's when we really need to address it. Because my goal is to keep all my kids on the bus to get them to school safe. Mm -hmm. So not because she'll tell you I'm one, I don't do a lot of write-ups. I, I try to do everything preventable to keep them on the bus. That's the physical view of the front of the bus so you can actually see what's going on in the mirrors as well. Then we have the front camera. And again, it comes effectively covers the front two-thirds of the bus. We have the camera over top of the driver facing the step well. And again, you can see everything that's going on in the driver's compartment as well as any activity outside the door. And then the rear camera, which is capturing all of the activity right at the back of the bus. Yeah, it's a it's a teamwork approach. Kendra's been with me for since I've been at Carpenter, so um, she lets me know who's perking on the bus a little bit. Um, she has a very long route, and then I'll pull the kids aside, and then if she gets to the point it needs to be a ride up or it's consistent, we'll document it. And sometimes I have to go investigate and pull several kids to find out what really happened because she may not see it, but she might have heard of it because obviously she's watching the road and keeping the bus going on the on the road. So um, I think the cameras are going to help solve some of those issues and of investigation in that. The footage, once everything is integrated, will be downloaded wirelessly, so you don't have to pull a hard drive. Uh, for these systems, the storage, depending on how many hours a day the bus runs, of course, would be somewhere in around the 40 to 45 day range. it will be secured, very secured by the district in terms of who can access the video. So uh, for instance, you may be able to remotely request the video, but you won't be able to view it unless you have the proper credentials. Kids are smart. They know that they're being watched um, and we can't put monitors on each bus. So I think the camera is a really good tool because it can cover the whole bus at once. My bus is fun. It actually is. <laughs> and um, I, I've been doing it for a long time and and it's really what you make of it, but I, I really I enjoy I enjoy driving a bus, but you just have to you have to get in and take control of your bus. Once you take control of your bus and let them know that you're the captain of the ship, they will respect you and they will know what they can and can't get away with and you won't have a lot of problems.